Rick sucks. <laughs> Monkey butt. That didn't really rhyme. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> <laughs>Welcome back to our stupid reactions. Yeah, it's up, Corbin. I am Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for the Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, Captain. Thank you for the Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, Squad. Today. Did you know you could do this to your juicy content? Whoa. It feels great. Uh, and today we're reacting to a trailer. It's yes. called Once Upon a Time in Mumbai. It. Wait a minute. Quentin Tarantino, what are you doing in India? <laughs> and just to make all the Indians happy, this is a 100% ripoff of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> is it really? No. Oh, Actually, I think this came. I think this came out many, many, many moons ago. Um, oh, but, and hence I get the joke. In other words, got it. I just, I just, yeah. Anyways, I'm joking. If you're, if you're a moron, uh, let's see. But it has AJ Devgan and it has Kangrana Renat. Uh, I always forget how to say her name, but we know both of them. Um, yeah, this came out way before Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. So, Quentin, why are you copying people? Well, he does that. Um, anyways, uh, a smuggler uh, rises to power in 1970s Mumbai, or Bombay. Uh, Mumbai, Bombay. Uh, a young gangster <laughs> seeks to overthrow him, and the police officer is caught in the middle. By the way, that I have to even say this is annoying, but I'm going to say it to try to avoid all the people who've already started typing. Guys, we know the history of the city. We know it was named Bombay. We know that it's called Mumbai. And there's two different camps. There's actually three camps. There's people in the middle who don't care. And there's people over here who say Bombay and don't want it any other way. And there's people who say Mumbai. Don't want it any other way. Guys, we understand. Please don't take offense if we say both names. We really love the place, so. <laughs> on that note, you ready? Uh, yeah. Make sure CCs are Wait, turned no. on. CCs are turned on. Three, ready. Two, one, go. <clears throat> Certificate before the trailer. There he is. हमारी तस्वीरें खींच के अपनी दुकान में लगा लेना शोएब। कभी जरूरत पड़े तो दोनों में से एक भगवान चुन लेना। काम हो तो जाएगा। अब सुपारी लिए तो चुना नहीं लगाऊँ। Once upon a time in Mumbai town. What is this song? I love it. What? The city was ruled by one man. Mar, mar, mar. Tu se gaga mar. Kya pyar mein halkal ka marti hai? Sor se marna. Sher se hal chalaoge to kisan to marega hi. Himmat batai nahi. Dekha hi jati hai. Heck yeah. Oh, you're feeling it. Trick, to Oh, this is good. This city needs only two people. 
सुल्तान और मैं बाकी पांडू सब बनवास जाएंगे Dang. Good trailer. Really good trailer, right? H- how old is the trailer? I mean the movie? It the movie says on IMDb it says it's 2010. Release date was July 30th, 2010. Did Quentin copy this? I mean, I know it's not exact, but it there was a lot of elements in it that were similar to like what Quentin does sometimes. Like in terms of stylized and then the 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 wording and then uh so you guys you guys can let us know if he if he 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 tends to do that a lot though he well i mean well, it's called Once upon a time in fill in the blank and it takes place in the 1970s so interesting um so you guys can let us know that uh that side of it um so I wonder, I wonder. Is, let's see it was directed by milan uh, who directed dirty picture as well uh, i've heard about that one and then So I'm very interested one uh Ajay Devgan and then uh Kangana Ranaut uh, both phenomenal actors uh whom who we like a lot even the poster similar Yes it is Guys act- did did Quentin Tarantino rip off this film I need you to tell me and I need to go scold him if he did Uh he he has a tendency though to he calls it honoring the films um cuz he he is a big film buff like and that's he's just he loves film. So a lot of his stuff comes from other people that have inspired him, which I don't normally have a problem with. Um cuz I, I if you're like honoring cuz you're you know, you've grown up idolizing these people so you you honor them in a shot here and then honor this person in a shot here. I don't really mind that. I, right. Uh, but uh this looks oddly very similar in terms of just the poster in terms of the name in terms of even the style that it shot in almost uh it, it really is seems I mean, very very familiar to me in terms of once upon a time in hollywood obviously it's a very it different story I mean, because that that one's about a hollywood story obviously uh so we know it's not that but um there's a lot of elements that are pretty similar yeah even the even the kind of orange background on the poster is is comparable um i'm i'm looking right now on this the, if there's any references it's funny I, when i went to the um they usually say something about this so i don't know and we'd have to do a lot more looking than we have time for right here but i remember when i took mica to the dome to see a screening of it and brad pitt was there and leonardo dicaprio was there and some other cast members uh in that hour that they were there talking to folks nobody mentioned any kind of reference to this when they talked about tarantino it, it could be this simple it, i mean He is a cinephile. Tarantino basically knows every movie that's ever been out in every country. So it would not surprise me if he had seen this and grabbed some stylistic ideas that inspired him. There's no outright copies. There's just no. so many similarities that yeah. so many similarities that I can't help but think this informed some of his artistic inclinations when he made Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, and right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh but yeah. I'm very interested. One, I love Really interested. Two, I love the song. I hope you were able to hear it and it wasn't cut up. If it is, I'm sorry, it's T-series and it's a great song and so I have a feeling it might yeah. be cut out. So sorry. Right. Uh not my fault. But uh that was a great song. Uh I I really enjoyed it. But also the two main actors uh I really enjoy. Um is this the next a Jay Devgan film we should watch? I want to know cuz he's supremely popular and we've seen him in a couple things. Yeah. But I want to see his I mean his best was probably even though you didn't love it as much was probably McBool uh in terms of just um dramatic acting. Um hey, he's never had a bad performance so that's what that's that's the thing. Um No, yeah, we've we have never um we've never seen anything where we didn't like him. I know the first couple things we saw stupid babies were getting a little bit upset with us because we didn't mention uh, him. Yeah. We didn't really mention him and he really didn't stand out to us. It was um Cyrot, right? No, he's not Cyrot. No. What was the one we saw with a J Dev Tan Haji. No, yeah, it was Tan Haji. No, yeah, the, right? ta- that was the newer one. That's the newest one with him and Saif Ali Khan. Yes, that's the newest one. Yeah, that- I liked him a lot in that. Uh, that's not the the first thing we saw him in though. 
Oh, no, 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 no. But I think that was the first time McBool and that one, the last two we saw of him were the first time we really started to see what the stupid babies have been telling us about him. And I, I too, uh, I'm interested in this. If this is something they say, yes, he, you want to see a J Dev gun in this, I would really like to see this one. I'm interested. Is this like the, what is his best? Uh, he also did well on Umkara as well. Um, uh, of course he did. Cause it's Michelle Bartlett. Um, what is his best role in terms of yeah. acting? Not, not his best film in terms of which film is the best, even though that, that you can tell us that as well. But I want to, I want to know his best acting performance. Uh, cause you know, we like watching acting performances. Um, yep. so let us know down below, uh, in Congrana. How do you say her name? I always forget how to say her name. Um, uh, I believe it's Kangana Ranao. No. Yeah. You know we love her. I think she's one of the best yep. actresses. She was great in Queen. I think she's one of the great best actresses Queen. we've seen uh, in all of India. Um, so, you know I love her. Um, but let us know down below. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the...